Another thing that is interesting, something that we introduced actually in Illustrator CC when it first came out, is the ability to sync your settings to the Creative Cloud. But what that allows you to do is to sync your settings. Let's actually go in here in my preferences and go into the sync settings preferences. We can sync settings such as preferences, presets, swatches, brushes, workspaces, symbols, and graphic styles. And the way that works is that through Creative Cloud, I'm able to sync the settings of the Illustrator that I'm using on my work machine and on my laptop. So that's very useful for syncing settings between two machines that I use. But in this version of Illustrator CC, what we've done, we've made it possible to actually sync all those settings with other people so that other people in my work group can have the exact same settings. And to do that, I would go here under Edit, My Settings, and export the settings right from here. And that will create a folder, which I can then share with my coworkers or my entire design company. And of course, what my colleague will have to do is go here under Import Settings and actually import the settings that I've provided. We've made that far more open and not limiting it to just syncing the settings between my own computers, but also the computers in my company, for example. These are just a few of the new features that came into Illustrator CC. But there's quite a few other enhancements that we've added. For example, remembering layer states when you close and reopen a file, or the ability to resize an artboard from its center. Let me actually show you that very quickly. Let's go here and actually view all of the artboards in the window here. And if I take my artboard tool, now if I press down the Alt key, you see that I can change the size of the artboard from the center of the artboard. This is one of those things that our customers have asked us and that we've made available through the rapid releases that Creative Cloud allows us to do. And also, there's access to the fill and stroke in the swatches panel itself. We've also added uh, new sliders for the opacity controls. And one last thing is the ability to actually use the Alt and Option keys together with the scroll on your mouse to actually zoom on a Mac. This is something that left Illustrator, but which came back because you have asked for it. So as you've seen, Illustrator CC is full of new features. And I think you'll find them very, very useful in your workflows.